Okay, so we're going to just kind of go through what SUR 140 is going to look like. There's a lot of details. Um, I will try my best to like remind you as things are coming up. So make sure you're checking your announcements like really regularly or if you can set up like alerts for yourself or something um, because that's going to be the best way for me to say, hey, don't forget to um, upload your oh, uh, go play. or can you mute please? Mute. Okay, I muted you. Um, so be checking those announcements, like I said, regularly so that you can just stay up to date. Um, I tried to make the lesson plan as detailed as possible. So, you know, if I was wiped off the planet tomorrow, you guys would still know what to do. But um, <laughs> sometimes there's still some reading between the lines that I forget about. So um, if you have questions, please do not hesitate to ask, okay? Um, so let me see, I have like all of these papers and I have notes. Um, so let's start by looking at the syllabus just really quickly and then we will get into, dive into the other details, okay? Um, let's see, I think this is the syllabus. Let me share that with you. Can you guys see this whole syllabus? Okay, so uh, the title of this um, course is Patient Care, Surgical Patient Care. And so, um, of course, we're going to be continuing in this kind of hybrid situation. Small groups are going to be coming to campus on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, you guys already know your group assignments. Rainy and Ivana, you switch. So Rainy, you're on Tuesday mornings and Ivana, you are Thursday mornings. So I made that switch and I also switched you in the groups in Blackboard as well. So everything should, should be good there. Um, if not, let me know. Um, but we'll talk more about groups in a second. Um, so the books, as um, Rainey was asking, which is a fantastic question, um, our Surge Tech Bible is going to be the one that we're using. So this big book and then the workbook that goes with it. Um, and then there's also an instrument book, which I don't think I have on my shelf here at home. Um, but that instrument book will be a good resource for you because we're going to be diving into those a bit more. Okay, so that's what we'll need there. Um, here's the course description. So we're gonna look at the physical and psychosocial needs of the patient. Um, we'll also talk about and demonstrate moving, handling, positioning, doing vittles, skin prep, urinary calf, open gloving, and uh, we'll look at some um, draping. We'll talk about draping. We're not going to do draping in this course, but we will moving forward into SUR 120. But we're going to talk about all of that stuff for sure and review that. Um, other important things, um, the breakdown of this is actually on our lesson plan. Um, I didn't put it in here, but I'll revise that later. Um, the grade percentages are still the same. Have to get a 77% or better to pass the class. And then here's the learning objectives. If you want to look at those more closely at some point to see um, anything that says demonstrate, that means we actually have to do it. Uh, all of the other stuff is mainly discussion. Okay, so that's where you can find those. If you think at any time I've gone off the rails, you can check there. Okay, questions about the syllabus? Okay, um, let's see. I'm going to stop sharing that. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to jump right to the Blackboard. So let me go there. I think that'll be, no, that's not what I wanted. Let me try again. I'm pretty sure. 
moment. Let me get the blackboard for you. Okay, so um, again, if you're looking for those documents that I had pulled up, if you click on course syllabus, it's gonna show you the syllabus, the lesson plan, and the course policies, which haven't changed from the prior course, um, but please review those as well. Course content is gonna get you to all of the weekly stuff, and I have changed the format of the lesson plan. So I'm hoping that this will be a little bit more user-friendly. You guys can give me some feedback as you go, but um, this course content outline is just um, exactly how the lesson plan is. So th these are our percentage percentages as far as allocation goes for tests slash quizzes is 25%. So we'll have some post tests. You're gonna have five checkoffs in the lab. Each of those are worth 25 points. A minor instrument quiz and not meaning that the quiz is minor, but the instruments are minor. <laughs> Um, and then a plastics instrument quiz as well. Each of those are 50 points. Those will be in an online test format um, where you'll have an image or you'll have a question and there'll be multiple choice, okay? Um, the um, outside assignments are gonna consist of some uh, study guides, a study guide for each of the chapters that we're doing, four threaded discussions, a partridge in a pear tree, uh, course project. Um, the course project is actually going to be in a group fashion, so we'll talk about that in a little more detail. Uh, today, very important after we get off here um, that you will um, download the syllabus acknowledgement form. Just type your information in there, save it, upload it. That will be your attendance activity, okay? I'll show you where that's at. And then there's gonna be some Blackboard lab attendance activities for just a few points. That's associated with the day that you're in lab. Again, so that we're marking your attendance. I know this sounds really weird. You're on campus. Yes, you can swipe in, but um, there's like a, we're gonna kind of introduce you to the time card. So that'll be super fun. And then your live virtual labs, which are going to occur um, in a Zoom type setting. You'll get participation, uh, quite a bit of points for those. Your um, PPS is still at 150 points. And then there'll be a final exam. Notice there is no midterm. I did away with that. <laughs> There's only the final exam and two instrument quizzes uh, in, in addition to your post tests, okay? The skills checkoff for this class is gonna be the hand wash open glove, vittle signs, um, transport and positioning, and then catheter insertion. And when we do catheter insertion, it'll be hand wash, open gloves, put in the catheter, okay? Uh, a couple of things about the skills. The skills are gonna be pass or fail. So they're worth 25 points a piece. You get two attempts to pass them, okay? Um, after the first attempt, let's say you fail one of the components, that means you fail the checkoff, all right? Because you have to pass every single, single skill on the checkoff. So if you have this workbook with you, um, if you turn to page, let's say, um, 165, okay? So you'll want to bring this workbook to campus with you for your skills checks. And I'll, those of you that are coming tomorrow, make this little note that you'll need to bring this book with you, okay? Um, what else was I gonna say? Uh, your time card will also be something that you'll need to bring with you, but on your first day of lab, I will have a hard copy printed out for you. So that way you don't have to print it out. Okay, you'll just fill it out for every lab class and upload it as your Blackboard activity. So all you'll need to bring for the first lab is your workbook and then moving forward, you'll have to bring that time card so that we can get it filled out so that you can upload it when you get home or uh, 
Um, you can upload it from your phone, I guess, right from the lab. Okay, so if you look at page 165 in your workbook, it goes over routine hand washing. So this is where our skills rubrics live. So your job for before you come to lab is going to be to look over this skills performance checklist and make sure you are familiar with it. Okay, so for the hand wash, um, it describes the steps and that's what we'll be going by as far as your performance checkoff. Um, and then for the open glove, it, it it's kind of lumped in with um, catheter. So we're gonna wait and do that checkoff. So we're just going to practice an open glove uh, this week. You will get checked off on your hand wash. That should be really super simple. So. That's what you need to focus on for, for lab checkoff for week one, okay? Does that make sense? What questions do you have? So, I'm sorry, I stood up to get my book. Um, we are only bringing the workbook for that for our first lab, and then... No, workbook for every single every lab. lab. Okay. Thank yeah. you because it has your skills checks in there. So we're just gonna use that. And when you do your skills check, you'll just give me your book, I'll mark it in there. Um, and then the thought is you scan it and upload it to the Blackboard. Um, so for grading purposes, okay, does that make sense? Excellent, good clarification question. Um, yeah. So look that over for tomorrow or Thursday, depending on when you're going to be there, okay? Um, oh, so as I was gonna say, if let's say for some strange reason we do hand wash tomorrow and there's one component that you don't pass, uh, what we will do is we will um, remediate so we'll practice, practice, practice. We'll make sure we review that part that you didn't um, pass. And then um, if we have time within that same lab for you to repeat it, we will. If we don't, then we will schedule for your second attempt, but we'll make sure that we're, we know what we need to work on. We'll work on it so that hopefully that second attempt will be successful, okay? So it's not uh, without, um, you know, guidance and practice and, you know, helping you to be successful. Okay. Um, all right. So let's look at um, the first week. So first week is, um, this is today, and your Blackboard activity is going to be to download the syllabus acknowledgement, fill it out. It just has your name, your date, um, your contact information and then just save it and upload it. That'll be for your attendance activity. And then Tuesday, groups, uh, group A, which is Lixie, Rainey, Alyssa, Jacob, and Rulon, you're gonna be in lab with me from eight to 10, hand wash, open glove. Group B, you'll come from 10 to noon. That is Hannah, uh, Ariana, Tori, Tammy, Robbie, and Gabe. And then, um, since you're going to be in lab, the only thing you'll need to do is come home and upload that time card, okay? And um, the time card, the time card just basically has the date, the skill that you practice, time in the lab, time out, and my signature. And then you'll just use the hard copy. We'll add to that every week, but you'll just take a snapshot and upload it for that day's lab. And I'll bring that with me and have copies for you. And then we'll use that same one for the rest of our classes uh, for SUR 140. Okay, so that's gonna be your objectives, A and B. So groups C and D, what are you gonna be doing because you don't have a teacher um, so you're going to be doing a collaborative group activity. Um, and then on the flip side, Thursday, when group C and D are in lab, so my group C uh, for mornings is Alexis, Jonathan, Andrea, Ian, and Ivana. And then my 10 to noon group is Sarah, Tolman, Wendy, Jackie, uh, Adriana, and Sean. 
okay? So while you guys are in lab, then my groups A and B will be doing the thing that C and D did, okay? And you'll be working in your groups, all righty? Uh, and then this C and D group activity or um, Blackboard activity is scanning and uploading your time card, all right? That's your attendance activity. On Friday, Fridays, um, so Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays are traditional lecture type Zoom meeting days, all right? And we are going to be starting, except for today, at 8 a.m. with a live lecture. Okay, and then we will talk about lab stuff as well. And then um, for this live virtual labs, you'll have a Blackboard upload for that and you'll get some points, 10 points, I think, for each of the LVLs. And then we'll have a post test. So every time we finish a chapter, we'll have a post test. There's five chapters that we go over in this class. Okay, um, some of them are smaller, so I figured we could finish them in one sitting, but some of them are a little bit bigger. We're going to take two sittings to finish those. Okay, um, homework for week one. So there's a threaded discussion for each week that you should do your initial uh, post on Tuesday and then make sure by Friday you finish up. Okay, so that is the same every single week. Um, and then study guides will be due wherever we start a chapter. Okay, so Wednesday, chapter five, Friday, chapter six, so on and so forth. I'll come back to the, the actual content uh, in a second. Um, so the rest of the weeks are pretty much going to progress as week one does. Um, on Mondays, uh, for the following weeks, two, three, and four, we'll, it'll just be virtual lab. So we'll be talking about all kinds of lab stuff uh, um, in relationship to what we're gonna be doing for that week, right? So week two, we're going to do vitals. So we'll talk about vitals. We'll also be going over instruments because you'll have an instrument quiz week two Friday. There it is on your minor instruments, all right? Um, so we'll be going over those and practicing those as well. So Monday will be everything lab for weeks two, three, and four. And then uh, there'll be some sort of Blackboard upload according to that lab, notes or whatever, um, whatever we decide. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays are the same type of format where if you're not in lab, you're gonna be working with your group. And I'm gonna go over that group project. So uh, sit tight about that. Wednesdays and Fridays we'll be talking about chapter material and might throw a sprinkling of lab in there as well. Okay, um, week three, pretty much the same. Something interesting I've thrown in here for a Blackboard activity is a personal reflection. There is a document for that. All you gotta do is fill it out and upload it. Fun. Um, and then week four, uh, fourth verse, pretty much same as the first, we're focusing, um, well, week three, we're focusing on moving and positioning. Week four, we're gonna focus on catheter insertion, um, and you'll be demonstrating that during this week uh, when you're in lab. And there's a little instrument quiz placed here, so you'll have a post-test and an instrument quiz. Again, it'll be a uh, multiple choice. Okay, so you won't have to spell anything. Um, typically we do these in the classroom and I lay out instruments and you have to write down what they are. So this format's gonna be a little bit easier probably because you don't have to worry so much about spelling. Um, and then uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays lab as normal. And then Friday, complete a survey, um, <laughs> which I already made sure is uh, enabled and uh, take a final exam, okay? And then finish up with your threaded discussion responses. Uh, this is actually a lie. I'm gonna erase that um, because we're doing our course projects collectively. So um, I will make sure I get rid of that. Actually, maybe I can just get rid of it right now. Why is it letting me? I'll just edit it out right now so that we don't have to have any misconceptions here. Okay. 
All right. Okay, um, here's the link to all of our Zoom meetings. Here's a reminder when you're coming to campus, you need to bring your time card, except for the first time you come, I'll have it for you. And then your Surge Tech Principles and Practices workbook, okay? So there's that reminder there for you. Um, let's see what else. If you click in, then all the content is here. It's kind of crazy. I didn't separate it by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, but um, for the skills checks, remember you're gonna have to scan and upload your skills rubric for that. Um, and then there's additional content that, you know, I kind of thrown in here. Um, but all of that content is in there for you. Your link to your thread and discussion, your Blackboard attendance activity, um, and it should give you the details that you need. Um, and then here's where you're going to do the syllabus acknowledgement. This is for today. So as soon as we finish up today, just download that little guy. Um, I have, uh, oh, where's my attachment? Mm. Okay, um, I guess I need to add the attachment. I know I added it at some point. Okay, attachment for syllabus acknowledgement. I'll double check on that. Um, make sure that that's available for you. And then you'll just attach it and upload it there. Okay. Um, I don't have it on this computer. I would attach it right now, but I'll take care of that in a second. Um, okay, so let's look at, I'm gonna switch gears here for a second. Sorry, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth. Um, we're going to look at the course projects. No, that's not a course project. Um, can you guys see this one that says course project part one, or do I need to start over? You can see it? Okay, thank you. Okay, um, so this is actually, and I'll show you where it's at if you haven't found it yet, but this is just how we can kind of look at it all together without me having to click through each group. So as a group, there's four different collaborative course project parts, part one, part two, part three, part four. And when you're not in lab, like on Tuesday, let's say uh, group C and D aren't in lab, this is when you're going to be working on this. So tomorrow, group C and D, this stuff is going to be your objective. You are going to work together collaboratively in your group. So the first thing that you're going to do is watch this video that I have posted here um, on daily affirmations, which is really awesome. And then your job as a group is going to be discuss, uh, decide on, and implement a new group team name, and I'll show you all of this. Hold on just one little minute. Uh, a group mission slash mantra or slogan, and then you're going to create your own Google slide, um, and it's going to, um, it should have at least one affirmation as part of your Google slide from the video. And we kind of want that to be a theme, right? Our mission should be, our goal should be, our mantra should be, our banner should be, everything about taking care of ourselves uh, and taking care of our patients, um, you know, uh, that kind of focus. So you'll do that. I added some links here to help you. Um, figure out how to make, um, if you want to do a Bitmoji slide, um, like I put my little Bitmoji in mine. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. You can just use symbols, but uh, you'll use a Google slide. Um, and then you can just um, put that in the banner, okay? Um, so after you did that, then you're going to create a second Google slide that's a collage of images of each of your study spaces. Now, don't go rearranging your study space. Just as it is, wherever you work, if it's a kitchen table with your computer on it, that's the image that you're going to use and collectively um, make a slide and post that of all of your study spaces. 
Okay, so then as a group, you're going to um, research and create a collaborative plan of action, and you're going to use Google Docs. So that'll be easy for you to just, um, in the discussion, in your group discussion, just post the link. All right, so your plan of action is going to be a detailed plan of how you're going to create or revise a study space that's most conducive to your online learning. Um, Roland's having a hard time joining Zoom. Try the one in SUR 140. Um, hold on one second, let me help Roland. Okay. Um, all right, so you're gonna do your plan. You're gonna post that. And then over the next week is gonna give you time to create your new study space or revise it or improve it or whatever the case may be and be prepared to showcase that the following week. All right, so those are gonna be your objectives. Now, this is really important, so listen up, please, and I will also post this in an announcement, um, but uh, now I'm going to pick on some people. So each lab group is going to have a team leader, so listen up. For group A, team leader, Rainy. For group B, team leader, Tammy. For group C, team leader, Jonathan. For group D, team leader, Jackie. Okay, so you are gonna be held responsible to make sure that your group is doing what they're supposed to do and completing all parts of the project. If you guys have questions as a group, the group leader will reach out to me instead of everybody having to reach out to me and they will be the ones, what the heck? that will communicate to the rest of the group. Okay? Confirm? I don't know if I have all my group leaders in here. Rainy? Yep. I know you're in here. Okay. Jonathan's here. I don't know if Tammy's here. Tammy, are you here now? Okay. Um, Jackie, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, thank you. All right, so it looks like maybe Tammy's the only one. Okay. Questions yes, Tammy, about this? Tammy is in here. Oh, she, she is? Okay. Yeah. She's just having some technical difficulties. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so that will be part one. Okay. Part two, moving forward, um, you're going to start off by taking a learning styles quiz. Thanks, Tammy. Um, so uh, you'll just click on this link. You'll take the learning style quiz. And after you take the learning style quiz, it's going to give you an idea of what your learning style is. So in your collaborative discussion, you're going to um, post what your learning style is. You're going to discuss the pros and cons of that specific learning style in regards to this program in your career. Right? And then let's discuss some success strategies. Uh, the next thing would be to research and discuss some online learning success strategies. It, whatever that looks like, if it focused on test taking, note taking, studying, whatever, come up with a comprehensive list of best practices. And again, that Google Docs is probably going to be easiest for you um, just because you can work collaboratively and just post the link. All right, so you're going to come up with some best practices for online learning success strategies. The last thing that you're going to do, and I'm so excited, I haven't set up the Flipgrid yet, but stay tuned. So Flipgrid is like a video um, threaded discussion. 
And so what you guys will do is after you have created your Flipgrid account, you can either download it as an app or a website. I'm going to post more instructions, so don't worry about this too much right this second, but you're going to record your virtual tour of your new study space. And then you'll respond to two of your peers after you watch their videos. So this is like a video communication log, which is gonna be really awesome. I can't wait to watch all of those. I'm gonna start off the virtual tour by sharing my own study space. Um, so I think that will be super fun for us. So you'll do that, okay? And that'll be your part two. Part three is going to be taking a life balance inventory. Um, let me tell you, uh, my life work balance is not in balance. Just gonna tell you that. Um, so you can take that, it'll give you a sense of kind of where you're at. And there's also a work life balance guide, all right? And that guide has a multitude of tips for us. And so after you do those things, the goal is going to be to pick out three to five strategies that you would use to create a work-life balance and include a goal for each of those strategies. So for example, if the strategy is time management, then what is a goal associated with that? Um, you know, it could be your goal for time management is to just watch a YouTube video on time management. Uh, it could be to share your, your success calendar, which is what we will um, be doing as well with three other people, whatever. Say what a goal is that's associated with that strategy and identify three non-essential tasks that are kind of cluttering your life, like um, spending six hours on Facebook each day. That, that kind of seems like it might be a non-essential task. Um, and then respond to at least two peers' responses. So part three will all take place in your collaborative discussion group. And then the last part um, is going to be to discuss with your group how you determine the priorities in your life, all right? And then you're gonna watch a video, which the link isn't here, but the link is in the group. You're gonna watch a Franklin Covey video. It's called, um, I think it's called Big Rocks, and it is so awesome. I love the concept of it. So you're gonna watch that. And then you're gonna have a discussion with your group. And so some things that you can think about are what did the big rocks represent and what did the small rocks represent? And why is it so hard to take care of the big rocks? And how can we consistently put our top priorities first? And then you're gonna think of some of your big rocks and maybe have a discussion about how will you manage completing your priorities. Hopefully one of those is becoming a surge tech. Um, and are there any tools that you can use such as calendars, planners, mobile alerts, reminders? If you want to do this in a Google Doc setting as well, you can and just post the link. Or if you just want to talk in the discussion area, you can definitely do that as well. And then the last little component is to create your own success calendar. Um, it doesn't have to be for an entire month. It can be, it can be specific, it can be general, like Monday through Sunday or Sunday through Saturday. This is kind of what I want my schedule to look like. But you're gonna create some sort of schedule and you're gonna post that and you're gonna critique two of your peers' calendars. Okay, so that's going to be the group projects. Now, um, it kind of seems like a lot, but remember we have four hours that we need to, um, four hours of work that you need to do when you're not in lab. So uh, it may take four hours, it, more than likely it will not. So when you're finished, you're finished, okay? Um, so, Questions about any of those things, I want to show you where the groups are and how you can access that. But any questions right off the bat for that? Right off the bat for that, 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 that was a rhyme. Ow, I just bonked my knee. Okay, um, let me go back. Again, we're jumping around here. Um, so is there anybody that 
cannot access their group or doesn't know where to access their group. My view is going to be a little bit different from your student view. And since I'm not enrolled in a group, I can't show you what it looks like from student. Um, but one of the ways you can get there is go to tools and there's groups right there. Okay, so um, and then it should be listed. Um, there should be for me, it's users and groups right here, but groups should be listed in your taskbar here as well. We're just going to go through here. So for the student section, how it looks is it has like uh, the whole list, you know, course content, all that underneath. It says my groups. All you have to do is click the my groups and then there's an arrow on the right. And when you click that, it should bring you to where you need to go. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I appreciate that. Uh, so in my view here, all of you are group A, group B, group C, group D. So if you were to just click on your group and then group discussions, here they are. Now, they are going to appear on the day that they're due. So none of these are probably appearing to you right now. Um, but um, group C and D, you're going to be working on this tomorrow. Groups um, A and B will be working on on Thursday. But for this first one, if you were just to click here, here's course project part one. You're going to click there. Here's all of the content with all of your links. And then you would just reply like a normal threaded discussion, um, whatever you want to do. Now, if there's some of you team leaders that as a group you decide you want to do a Zoom session and kind of have this, then um, you can definitely do that too, but you would need to upload the recording so that I could see that or so that there would be some sort of documentation. But um, there's definitely some wiggle room as how, how you navigate this as long as you're um, kind of addressing all the components. Um, what else was I gonna say? So points will not be awarded per how your group does collectively it's really going to be more individually your participation so if i see that two people have posted 10 times and three people have only posted once those people that have posted once are not going to get the full points so participation is going to be the key per individual does this make sense questions about that. Okay. So the rest of the um, the rest of these, uh, we can take a peek at them. But um, let me see, let me go back. Can I go back? Maybe I can't. <clears throat> Group discussion board is what we're gonna always go to. So here's part two. Why is it saying no thing found? Not well, why it's being weird. <clears throat> but you can, well, probably because everything is here. So this is a little bit different. So here's gonna be all of your information. Then you'll click on course project. Then you'll have to click on create thread. Okay, and then once you click on create thread, everything will come up for you. All right, that initial one's a little bit different, but there it is. And then you can start posting your messages and doing your replies. You can attach files if you need to, whatever the case may be. Questions about group stuff? I have one. So if we decide in our group that we want to do a zoom then you will just watch that zoom for the participation because we won't be doing the you know typed discussion board did i understand that properly right so that would count as your discussion part but if you like need to post a link for best strategies like using google docs or google slides or something like that you would still need to post that link but as far as like the back and forth discussion of how you get there that the Zoom would take place of that. 
Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Good question. Other questions? Team leaders, you have anything? Okay, let me look at my list. We reviewed the syllabus and the lesson plan. Actually, I do have one other. So as the group team leader, um, to get contact information for our group members, if we don't already have that, is that within our group so that we can like IM them or whatever? So the emails should be there so that you can email one another. Um, so let me go here. Um, so send email and then you should be able to send emails to anyone that you want. So what I would suggest is if email works best, just start an email chain and then exchange numbers. Uh, you know, you guys can decide that amongst yourself, how it's best to contact each other. So through here, you can start that initial email chain, um, share your numbers, and then you should be good to go. Does that make sense? Okay, good question. Other questions? <clears throat> Okay. Um, oh, sorry. I'm going to go back. There's one other thing that I wanted to show you. Um, so in the announcements, um, I created this slide and this week we're going to be looking at hand wash open glove. So um, here is a video on hand wash. Here is a video on open glove. So review those before lab. That would be excellent to kind of get you in the right frame of mind, plus review your rubric. Um, if you want to look at some minor instruments, you can click this little table and that'll take you to minor instrument tray as well. Okay, so those are the three interactive things here, but the two videos, um, those would be good for you guys to look at. Um, let's see, what else? Um, as soon as we're done here, I'm going to attach the syllabus acknowledgement, which I'm not sure where that went. Um, and then those of you coming to lab tomorrow, remember to bring your workbook. Um, be in dress code, bring your badge so that you can swipe in all that fun stuff. I'll have a copy of your time card and then I will leave that in your capable hands. Um, tomorrow, for those of you that are in lab, you will upload your time card when you get home or before you leave or once you get it signed. And then group C and D, you'll be doing your projects part one. I'll be on campus all day tomorrow. Um, and then Wednesday, we'll have our Zoom at 0800. And then you'll um, have your chapter five study guide is due at the start of class and we'll have a post-test at the end of class. So that's kind of the next, the projection for the next couple days. What questions do you have? Is this making sense? Or are your brains just crazed because of the micro test? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's going to take a little minute to get the swing of it. But putting this together was um, a little overwhelming for me. So um, I can only imagine that the only thing that I can say is that we will work through this and get through this together. And if there's a few hiccups, that's fine. We'll have some hiccups, but we'll work through it uh, together. Okay, so if there's something going on and something doesn't work quite, quite right, it's okay figure it out together. This is my first time kind of integrating both lab components and other components. Uh, ideally, I would like to have an instructor for you guys on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I can't have that right now because I don't have enough peeps. Um, but I think 
that um, I think the products are going to be fun. So, and I'm looking forward to seeing like what you guys come up with as you collaborate. Uh, so I think it's still going to be meaningful for you guys. Yeah, but we'll work through it to, as a group together, as a team. Okay. Um, if something doesn't make sense, please feel free to let me know. Um, group C and D, as you work on your groups tomorrow uh, and you have a question or there's some kind of weirdness, feel free to text me. Although I will be in lab with your classmates, but I will try to get back with you just as quickly as possible. Or if it's an emergency, just like call, okay? Um, and we'll work it out. All right. What other questions do you have? Hopefully everything else makes sense. It's just a group, the group thing that's a little bit weird. Okay. Anything else I can help you with um, before we skedaddle? Speak now or forever hold your pieces. So the the one thing I just wanted, just to make sure uh, the discussion board one that we're going to be doing, that's the group discussion thing. So there's threaded discussions and there's your group discussions, okay. two separate things. So that's a great question. Your threaded discussions will be everybody answering just like we've done in the past. And there's four of those. Um, but the other group discussions in your groups A, B, C, D, those are just going to be specific to your group projects. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. Yes, good question. And yes, Rulon, I'm going to post the recording. It'll take a minute because it has to convert itself. Then I have to upload it to YouTube. Then I'll post it to today's class. But uh, I'll try to get that turned around as quickly as possible. Okay, yeah, because there's some people here that haven't been able to, to get all of this information. So um, I'll definitely post that as communication. Okay, I think that's it. As far as I know, um, I will attach the syllabus acknowledgement. So as soon as we quit here, give me like two minutes and that should be available to you. Make sure that you get that uploaded um, today for your attendance, okay? Okay, if you're looking over this stuff and you think of something that you're like, uh, I don't know, looks weird, um, shoot me a text, okay? Okay, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait. Get excited. All right, I will see some of you face to face tomorrow. Um, otherwise, uh, I will see all of you on Wednesday for sure at 8 a.m., okay? All right, I will see you then. Bye. So, oh, Miss Windsor, actually, I had a question. Yes. Because, sorry, I completely forgot that we had to be in here for the meeting because I, I just finished with the with the final yep. nothing like I can just watch the recording right there's nothing like we need to do right now so what you will need to do right now as soon as we get off from here give me 120 seconds so that I can attach the syllabus acknowledgement to the a syllabus acknowledgement blackboard activity for today you'll just need to download fill that out uh, save it and upload it to the blackboard for your attendance today okay okay all right thank you yes okay. bye hi i think you're on mute baby i can't hear you no no he here you're here Oh, you moved rooms. You're having technical difficulties like you expected, right? <laughs> Is it a different computer that you're using? No? 
Hmm. Maybe like when you log in, does it prompt you to like test your, I think there should be a way that you can test. Um, so at the bottom right, oh no, the other right, bottom left of your screen where it says the little microphone, if you click the arrow next to that, it should say select a microphone and then same as system, built in, test speaker and microphone. So maybe try that. While you're doing that, I'm just going to post the syllabus acknowledgement, okay? That I thought I already posted, but I guess not. I don't know. I wonder where I attached it. I know I attached it, so I probably attached it to something else. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Syllabus acknowledgement. Okay, it is there. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Woo! <laughs> Good job. It, it just totally echoed.